Welcome to Mrs. G DIY Designs. Today I will be showing you how I made this beautiful abstract painting with crushed glass and glitter on canvas. All of the supplies and links will be listed in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can.
Okay, so I have some epoxy resin. You have to mix two equal parts. I don't have a measuring cup, but I would advise that you do measure this and it needs to be equal. So again, make sure that you use measuring cups and not this method. Okay, and you want to mix this. Make sure you guys read your directions on your epoxy. And you want to stir it for three minutes. Don't stir it too fast. And these are some sticks that I got from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so just stir for three minutes. And this is way more than enough. I'm actually using this for two canvas prints. You want to make sure that you get the sides of the epoxy. And again, just stir for three minutes. If you don't stir it for three minutes, your project will not cure. Okay, so we just want to pull the epoxy wherever you want it to stick. It has a very nice stretch, so don't pour it a lot. You can always go back and add more if necessary. I'm just going to add a little bit more epoxy so I can come straight down like I did with the paint. And you want to just do straight lines.
and don't make your lines even. Okay, so I still have some epoxy left, and that's after doing two canvases. I have this crushed glass from Michaels. I will link the description down below. Next, we're going to add some holographic glitter. This is from Walmart.
Next, I have yellow glitter. I have this yellow glitter as well. Okay, I'm also going to add a little bit of this glitter as well that I got from Michaels. To give it a little bit more sparkle. And last but not least, I have this glitter dust. Not glitter dust, but diamond dust. And this adds sparkle as well. Can you guys see that? Don't need a lot. So we just need to let this dry overnight.
And tomorrow we're going to shake all the excess off and you'll be able to see the lines that I actually put in in the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back tomorrow.
I did a more yellow glitter. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Mrs. G DIY Designs. Like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. As you know, I am a new YouTuber, so any help will be greatly appreciated. Be sure to come back in a couple of days for another glam DIY design with Mrs. G.